There we go. That is a warm out. No, it's a green sunfish. Yeah. For a minute there, I thought it was a perch. There we go. There we go. Wee! I see it going all the way. That's deeper than you think. Mm-hmm. There we go. Fish on. They're small ones, but it'll work. Oh, that's a good one. Well, felt like it a good one. Those green sunfish, man, can fight, can't they? Just got a little hit. There we go. Oh, dad. About the same size. Oh, wait, oh. There we go. Little guy. Well, bigger than some of them. All right, guys, we got some live bluegill and also some green sunfish in there. We're gonna try to go for some flatheads later tonight. They're not big bluegill, but they'll work for what we're going for, so. I give up, their big ones are just not in here. Yeah, we've been getting some itty bitty ones for the past 20 minutes. This is the old lock below Nickajack Dam. A lot of concrete kind of pillars and structures around. We're with the man, Ty Conkel, fvcatfish.com. <laughs> and uh, if you guys don't know, uh, Ty is a catfish guide that operates on the Tennessee River. He's been in numerous videos. And this was supposed to be a bait run. We were supposed to get some skipjack, but Ty says that it's been really slow trying to get skipjack. So we decided to get some bluegill and kind of change our technique i guess so we're gonna try to get some flatheads and anyway guys stay tuned guys we're gonna make our way to the wing wall here and uh try to get some flatheads this is ty conkle's technique well i mean a lot of people do it but uh it takes a little bit of skill trying to get over there in these type of waters at least for me Gotta go through the turbines, right, Ty? <laughs> We're through. Oh, we got through it. It's almost exciting when you're through. Huh. Ty, I can get this one out if you want me to. Man, that current's strong. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see that orange sign, but it reads, dangerous waters, violent surges occur suddenly, keep out. Well, I think we'll be okay. We've already gotten through the turbines here. This is not as fast water here, but uh, I think we're gonna be okay. We are on this wing wall. All right, guys, here we go. First victim is 
this bluegill right here. We are using six ounces of lead with an eight-aught double action circle hook, team catfish. And Ty, you're just hooking it behind the, is right it the, behind the dorsal fin. right behind the dorsal fin? How deep is it, would you say here? Uh, about 20 feet. 20 feet? 20 to 25, kind of slopes around. Ty's done very successful fishing for flatheads here, just right along this wing wall. And let me get you another, bluegill here now you get to now we're gonna try for some skippies again. right we're gonna have just three rods just out in the back and we're gonna try to get some skipjack in the meantime like I said before guys this trip is really a bait run so we're just kind of killing time uh, maybe we will get a flathead, so we'll see. All right, guys, we got a flathead on this one, I think. Yeah, he's on. He's on? All right, let's reel down. Yep. All righty. Yeah, it's a small one. Yeah, he's shaking a lot. It makes me wonder if it's even a flathead. Little baby one. <laughs> yep, it's one. Yeah, he's probably what five to seven pounds. Got a flatty. First flathead, guys. That was quick too. That's a nice one, man. What would you say, five pounds? Yeah, a little five pounder. You need a few more zeros. <laughs> you got something, man. Oh, you got a little striper. Or is that a white bass? A white bass. White bass. You got one? Whoa, Ty, I think it's broke. Got it? Yep. All right, guys. The thing just broke. Got a fish? Yeah. Ty has a fish, and I got to keep the boot. It looks like our bungee cords just gave out in the wood. The bungee cord into the wood broke. Or the wood broke. A little stake broke right here. And Ty has a flathead. Boy, he's, he's mean. <laughs> hey man, show that for the camera. That's a nice yeah. one. He's probably about the same size as the other one. Yeah, pretty though. Yeah. Very pretty. Got it. Another flathead. 
Little guy. Show that for the camera real quick. After you get him unbuckled. Yep. That's a beauty. That's the biggest one. Yeah. <laughs> Ty's hooked up with the flathead. A little guy. Just a little one. I think he swallowed it. Oh, for real? Yeah, he swallowed that. And circle hooks, you usually don't gut hook them. Let's get this guy back in the water. He'll be okay. There he goes. Fish on. It's a small one. This one's really small. <laughs> now there's a good live bait. Yeah, I want to put him on. You want to put him on? Yeah. We're going to use this white bass as live bait and see if we can get a flathead with it. Ty's going to show us how he uh, how he does this with uh, white bass. I just like going right back here, right in between the fins. They have tough tissue, don't they? Yeah, and make sure all the scales are off, and that allows them to hang pretty nat. Down he goes in the depths. He'll be a little different than a bluegill because he's going to be white and flashy. We're hooked up. This one's going, Ty. This one has a fish or this one's... Okay, we're wrapped around something, so one of us is going to have to pull the fish in. Are we? Yeah, I think we're crossed, right? Yeah, we're hooked together, but oh. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, let, me... let me let some line out. I guess. Yeah, just let it. Did you get him? Yeah, you got him. I think he might still be in it. The line's still going here. Small one, huh? Yeah, it crossed. That's the biggest one though. That's the biggest one. <laughs> wow, that is a mess. All right, let's release that bad boy. Oh dad. Oh dad. There he goes. Hello channel cat. <laughs> Man, these channel cats are like eating up these live bluegill, man. Wow.
We've only caught how many flatheads? Three flatheads? Four. Four flatheads and two channel cats. Oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah, this is a good one. Oh, he felt big. Sure did for a minute, huh? Yeah. That was an itty bitty bluegill. Channel. Is that a channel? Yeah, no. Flathead. Well, I'm gonna have a flat there one out here still. Right yeah, guys. Alrighty. He's probably what, maybe pushing 10 pounds? Yeah. They're probably seven, seven pounds. Something like that. Look at that fish, fellas. Look at that fish. They're beautiful. Gotta love the flatheads. Gotta love them. Alrighty. Ty may be hooked up, but we're gonna go and release this guy. There he goes. Back to the depths. You got one, don't you? Yep, so. Yeah, man. How does it feel? It's getting dark, guys, I know, but look at that sunset. Caught him on that white bass. Is this the white bass? Oh, this one was on the white bass, guys. It ain't big, but big enough to get that down. This one was on the uh, white bass that we used. I was out of bluegill. That was that one little white bass you kept. Oh yeah. Dude, I think it's still in his mouth. Uh, hey, he swallowed that tie. Ty, look, it's still in his mouth. Alright guys, this is the flathead that Ty just pulled in. And it was caught on a live white bass that I had caught earlier. And I want to show you inside, if I can where it is you can cut ah whoa okay he's mad he's devouring it right now but i want to try to show you if you guys can see down in there i don't know if you guys can tell but the white bass is right in there it looks like a bluegill but i kid you not it is a white bass that we used and it's right there so anyway it looks like he uh got He's gut hook ties, so we just cut the line. Yeah. He had that, I guess, for a while. Yeah. Guys, it's really hard to know with this current uh, whether we have a fish or not because the current is literally so strong, the turbines are pushing the water so hard. So, but we're going to go and cut the line. All righty. Beautiful fish though, guys. This is Ty's fish. Look at that mouth right there. This is why the flathead was so fun to catch. They are literally the true river monsters in our reservoirs and so forth. Let's go and release them. Bye, guy. Bye, bye now. There he goes. Back to the depths. Nux. Boom. <laughs> We're gonna call quits for the evening, guys. We caught five or six flatheads, a couple channel cats using live bluegill and live white bass. Uh, I've never used a white bass before uh, as bait, um, but it paid off. It's been a little slow here. Usually the bigger ones, and Ty will say the same thing, usually the bigger ones come a little later, but uh, we're just anchored up on this wing wall below Nickajack Dam and so give a thumbs up for this video, and we'll see you guys later.